First Peter, one. Peter, an apostle to Yahweh Hamashiach, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus and Galatia and Cappadocia, Asia, Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of God, the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience, sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, grace unto you, and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the power and the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, which according to the, his abundant mercy have begotten us again unto a lively hope before the resurrection of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach from the dead, to an inheritance incorrupt and undefiled, that fate of not away reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations with distress. That the trial of your faith, being much more precious than gold that perisheth, through it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Call Halal Yahweh Bashan Hawashai by Hashem Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles, double honors to the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers. Uh, to the uh, scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speckled bird among the heathen, that look like the heathens. And to the aquaf that are listening and learning, to you I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm uh, from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago. And this is uh, the video that was put up by the beloved brother GMS Get This Work. Um, the video where Vocab Malone is mocking the spiritual power. He believed not the record of things that are written in the Bible. All right. So without any further ado. <laughs> Yeah, how a Hebrews like to believe in the future they're gonna have superpowers like Superman or the Hulk. Literally. Listen to this clip where a guy says that it means in the future Hebrews like they're gonna be able to throw tanks. We're gonna get that spiritual power, man. Where no weapon formed against us shall prosper, meaning you, if a tank, we'll be able to pick up a tank and throw it, man. This is the power we talking about, not not at camp with sticks like these carnal Israelites out here talking about with a gun on their hip. Nah, we're gonna get real power, man. Only we should see that verse Isaiah fifty four seventeen, as what Paul talks about in Romans eight. Which means nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. There's no condemnation for those who are in Christ. Romans chapter 8, 34, 35, 36. Beautiful stuff. Not that in the future we're going to throw tanks. So explain to us, vocab okay, Malone. How is this going to happen that you won't be able to smash or destroy a tank? Are you reading? Only moments ago, New York has come under attack. Witnesses claim to have seen hundreds of UFOs. It's opening fire! Oh, so Yahweh Shai, when he comes back, he's paid to come and take this place out. Why do you think the scriptures say that the earth shall rock to and fro like a drunkard? What type of devastation is it going to take that's going to make the whole world 
rock back and forth. The scripture said, so great an earthquake as never was seen before. that one has and when you're able to let it loose without any interference to let it loose without any interference man you better get out that person's way you know and Esau gonna try to head right to the Lord and the Lord is gonna fuck shit up So yeah, they talk about the sky daddy coming down. The black man with an afro. With Thanos dark what's his name? Dark side type power. Unstoppable. And it's true. Esau investigates the Bible. People say, yes, what's the difference, you know? Well, the Bible's just another book. No, first off, that's wrong. The Bible's not a book. The Bible's six to six books. Forty different people wrote it. Over 1,500 years. There's never been a book like that in history. Ever. Does that make it the Word of God? No. It just means it's worth considering. Because there's never been a book like this. It gives you some reason to consider it over the others. Well, how about history? For hundreds of years, archaeology has used the Old Testament and New to find buildings, to find people, to find civilizations, to find kings that didn't exist or they didn't think they did. And suddenly the Bible said they're there and they dug it up and there it was. Does that make it the Word of God? No. It means it's historically accurate. Real people really existed and really wrote down what they saw. It's worth considering. And then they said, we're going to have God show up. And lots of people said that. Lots of religions say it. Don't worry, we'll prove it as a rational God would do. I will do prophecies. I will show that I'm not trapped in linear time, that I can see beyond where you are. I will give prophecies to tell you what the guy, when I show up and God appears on earth to reveal himself, I'll show you what he's going to look like. Over 300 prophecies. And then a man showed up one day named Jesus. Yeah, and I was that guy. And he fulfilled all 300 prophecies. That's impossible. People can say, well, yeah, so they just wrote it afterwards and filled it all in. But we know that the first Greek translation of the Old Testament was done 250 years before Jesus was born. Hmm. So how could they possibly know that he'd be born in Bethlehem? How could they possibly know he was going to be crucified when crucifixion didn't even exist as a capital punishment yet? How could they know that he'd be betrayed for 30 pieces of silver 250 years before there was a Jesus? Does hmm. it make it the word of God? No, but it's time to get close. <laughs> All right, so you know, you know they like to use uh, comedy to speak the truth, but it absolutely makes it the word of God, and that's what people discredit that the things in the Bible that happened, they were written before they happened, and then it happened just like it was written. This is First John five and ten: He that believeth on the Son of God have a witness in himself. He that believeth not on God have made him a liar because he believeth not the record that God gave to his son. That would be vocab Malone. Because he left a very com a complete and detailed record of what he looked like, of what his people looked like, 
what he'd do upon his return both times, the first return and the second return. He also said that those that follow him would be like him, will be lifted up into the, into the skies to come and greet him. Because how else can one make a thousand flee? And that thousand is going to be armed with guns and tanks, vocab Malone. Verse 11, verse John 5 and 11. And this is the record that God have given to us eternal life. And this life is in his son. Call Halali Hawabashim Hawashai by Shemba Kakudash. Wa Ababa Ball. Kwam Yasarala Shalawam. Vocab, shut your 